And over in Lindsay, St. Catherine, there was another protest, this time by taxi and bus drivers. The transport operators were protesting about the condition of the roads in that town. TVJ's Kalisha Williams has that story. Students and commuters walking along the Edward Siaga Highway in St. Catherine, some doing so for more than an hour. They journeyed by foot along this toll road because taxi and bus operators, which usually ply the Linstead to Treadways route, switched off their engines and lined the streets, protesting this. We are saying to politicians, meet with us and settle this dispute with us. Because listen, you see, if they not meet with me, it now going to be the same every day. Yeah. Every day at this we are going to examine and come out upon the road at daytime, two times for the week, when they come here. They go off most of the plate. Who then can catch car, pay a cat and mouse thing where you are going with them. See? So, and at the end of the day, we don't have a road for drive, man. We want the road and the, uh, bush out for the goat all we are in a taxi. So a pay a big wall, pot wall. We can raise fish in them. We are them big. You don't know. We want to know where they are about the road. A road we want and a road we say. The impact of the protest was felt most at the McGraw High School in Linstead, St. Catherine. The school's principal, Claudine Panton, says only 285 of the more than 1,000 students showed up on Monday and just 40 of the over 60 teachers. It came to me also that we have had a student who fell ill on the road, had to be rushed to the hospital. So my, my support team is actually responding to that student, making the follow-up with the parents. She fears the situation could worsen if the protest continues. The unfortunate thing is that um, my boss is actually in the workshop, so we are unable right now to even transport the students. We can only appeal to the relevant authorities to, to respond as best as possible and, and provide some amount of support to the taxi drivers. Councillor for the Treadways Division, Sydney Rose, said all the necessary plans are in place to fix the road. However, he pointed out there are some broken pipes that will need to be repaired. After which NWC, along with the National, National Works Agency, will be doing some corrective work as it relates to some of the areas. So plans are already in place. As a matter of fact, Mr. Sang from the National Works Agency is coming into the area this morning to do some measurement with a view to fix the road. In the meantime, Communication and Customer Services Manager at the National Works Agency, Stephen Shaw, confirmed that an estimate was generated to have the roads fixed. But he says with over 20 leakages, the estimate will have to be reviewed. Kalisha Williams, TVJ News.